hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here please don't forget to click the subscribe button thank you so today's makeup i'm going to be prepping my face first with my um early girl primer and my mattifier which is a remail stay mattifier so i'm applying it all over my face just to prep my face for all other products that i'll be using i'm going in i went in first with my um, primer then next i'm going in with my mattifier i'm going to apply it all over my face and let it um, sink into my skin properly so under my eye these are really places that you need to mattify because you never can tell how much oil your face will produce then going in with my foundation this is a Mary Kay Time Wise foundation so I'm dapping it with a sponge so this sponge is um, a Sephora collection and I'm dumping it all over my face um, from one portion then I'm moving to other parts of the face so as you can see this using a sponge gives you like a flawless finish the only disadvantage is that it absorbs a lot of products so it's like um, this one consumes a lot of pro products then now i'm going in with my concealer which is a for sushi cosmetic concealer it's a shade lighter than my than my skin tone so i'm going to use it to highlight under my eye region my forehead my chin and my nose bridge so basically I've, i realized that this particular concealer is good for um concealing eye, eye bags so for this for the purpose of this makeup i'm going to be using this concealer to prop up to cover my eye bags then i'm still going to use another concealer again just to highlight and make my um on the, make the under part of my eye pop much more so guys as you can see if you notice i'm applying this concealer in very low, um, little quantity this is because i already used the mattifier and i don't want it to dry up so quickly and making blending difficult for me so i'm just going to apply very little um concealer i'm using a sponge which is, which i already damp damp is different from wet so that means i squeeze out all the water from after um putting it inside water i squeeze out all the water to ensure it's just damp and it's not wet then i use that particular sponge to blend my um the concealer into my skin so guys can you see how um my eye bags are already covered a bit i would also use um Elegant concealer in phone which is one concealer is almost at, at all uh, most of the time so now that i'm going to now that i'm using this if you guys notice my high bags are covered they're much probably covered than it was when i used the ferrasushi cosmetic concealer so guys it worked magic i'm now setting my face using fancy um setting powder in azel nut so because my sponge is damp, it makes um, the powder sink into my skin like almost immediately. I'm just going to use this powder at portions where I already highlighted on my in my face. So I'm just setting. This is basically setting the face. I can actually just apply my powder and end the entire makeup like that. But I'm going in another routine today, so it's not going to be in that in that not going to be in that way at all. I'm now baking. So I'm using um, a Carbon D translucent powder, setting powder to bake my face. So ba baking basically is applying the um, setting powder and letting it stay for a while. So when I allow it stay, I can do other things with my on my makeup. Like I can decide to do my brows, my eyeshadow, whatever thing works for me. So that's what I can do at this point of baking. So now I'm going in with my brow. I have a video already about how to draw your brows and how to make your brows as flawless as possible. So what I'm just basically doing right here is to outline my brows. So I'm outline the lower brow line and the upper brow line. Just outline it. Make sure your brows are trim. Then I fill in. So I just fill in my brows very faintly and brush. So this is like the easiest way for me to draw my brows. Or if you didn't get what I did, you could just check the description box below. I'll put a link on how to draw your brows. So today I'm highlighting my brows using my concealer. So I used my concealer all through. Instead of me using the concealer and the foundation, so I used the concealer that I used to highlight my face. I just used it in highlighting my brow bone as well. And my brow, like the entire brow. And I ensure to blend because if you don't blend properly, it's going to look very scary at the end of everything. So I just ensure to blend it properly into my skin. I, I blend the concealer pro well. Then I'm still going to use a blending brush as well. So I just I just make sure to blend because blending is like the key thing. 
Guys, can you see how flawless my brow looks like? Can you see how great it looks after highlighting? Look at both brows. Then now I'm going to just blend with a blending brush. And voila. My brow looks great. So I'm applying my eyeshadow um, primer, which is LA Girl. And I'm going to just blend it in. Then after that, I'm going with my Margaret Echo in col like color red. I like applying my foundation simultaneous my eyeshadow i mean simultaneously so i'm going to use apply the um, red color on my eye um, crease on both eye um this color this foundation this um eyeshadow do not have like names of um the color so i just use the red color that i see that then uh, that's like a magenta color i'm going in as well with the magenta shade so it's just going to give me this reddish purple kind of look which is one what look the look i'm kind of looking out for for my transition color guys can you see how the colors are blending into each other for the corners of my eyes i'm using my uda beauty a very deep brown in uda beauty so because i wanted to concentrate and create a look that i that i just that i kind of imagined in my head i had to just go on one eye first then before going to the next so guys i I'm cutting my the crease of my eye, so I'm just going to use like my concealer to do that. I'm just going to use my concealer to cut the crease and make everything come out nice. I was trying to use a primer before, but I realized the primer was too thick, so it wasn't wasn't easy for me to trace. So I decided to move to using a concealer. So I think I used I used a concealer, um, elegant concealer, cool tan. That's what I use in doing this. So I just I'm just trying to outline my eye crease and with with my concealer and a flat brush i'm using a flat brush to do this so guys that's just it's that's just what i'm doing basically so i need to concentrate on one eye first like i said earlier so i don't make mistakes and so i can see what i want to achieve the kind of look i want to achieve if i can achieve it i didn't actually have any look in mind when i started this makeup so that's luta's um Glitters. I actually forgotten the name. I'm going to put the name in the description box below. So one thing I realized about this particular pigment is that it doesn't fall off so much. I'm not using a glue with it and it's still like sticking to my eyelid. Like I really didn't expect that. So now I'm going in with another um, shade of the pigment. It's like a gold shade but I really do not have forgotten the name. But I'm going to put the name in the description box below. So I just do the same thing like I did with the first um, pigment. I just place at the portion that I've already set to um put my pigments initially i just place it from from my like tear duct to the rest of my eyelid and i blend gently just to have avoid it um falling off so because i really like what i was seeing i started to just cover another uh, so a portion of the f other color with the purple that i used initially so the gold color is just coming out like very little part of my eye then I do the next same thing to the other I, I didn't show that in this video just to avoid us wasting time. Then now I'm going in with my very loose um, highlight brush. So now I'm just going to dust and highlight my face. So the portions where I baked is where I'm dusting and highlight and um, blending. Like I say, blending is like the very the one of the most important thing in makeup. If you do not blend, you get what you do not even expect at all. So I'm just going to dust off and blend. So now I'm lining my eye because of the kind of pigments I used. Using a gel liner wouldn't be um, advised. So now I'm just going to line with a liquid um, eyeliner. So I'm lining the eye gently so that I don't make a mistake. Because if I make a mistake with a liquid liner, it'll be very difficult for me to clean that or to correct that. So I'm just going to line my eye gently with a liquid liner. Now I'm going in with my mascara. Because I have a couple of stain on my lashes, I need to use my mascara to clean up and also make sure the lashes come out, especially the lower lashes. So can you see what the um, mascara is doing? It's 
cleaning off the farm foundation and any other thing that has stained the lashes and it's making it dark again so for my um waterline i used a black pencil as well so this is one part of makeup that people find really difficult but i've been able to manage my way around it without tearing up uh, so much so i don't tear up like i used to before i just make sure i line gently and and be conscious of what i'm doing that's just it you just have to be conscious of what you're doing so now guys i'm going to con i'm contouring my face i'm going in with my uh, minister contour powder so i like powder contour more than cream contour because it's very easy to do so part of my face that i'm contouring is my temple which i've done and now i'm contouring my cheekbone and my jawline so because i want this i just want to define my face properly that's why i'm contouring all this portion of my face so by the time i finish my makeup everything looks really great and everything put together comes out well so i just go over those portions again my cheekbone and now i'm going in with my blush because i want a very colorful look so i'm applying my brush my blush prop like it's more intense than i usually do now i'm going in with my powder to blend the entire face i'm blending the entire portion or that parts of my face that um, powder hasn't touched i'm also going to use this powder my shade to contour my nose as well because i don't want my nose to be um too dark so i'm just going to go in with my brush just to make it just to make my um, highlight pop very well in my nose region so now guys i'm using a very dewy milani um setting spray so this is going to give me a dewy look or a dewy finish now i'm going in with my um bronzer some people call it highlighter it's this is makeup revolution highlighter or, or, but i think it's called a bronzer not normally so i'm just going to apply i'm applying it on my cheekbone eye cheekbone my chin and my forehead which are portions we already highlighted i'm also going to apply it on my nose bridge and my um brow bone but i'm going to do that with a very small brush so that i can blend properly so that's what i'm doing now i'm blending it in with a very small brush so that it can look properly set i could do it with a big brush as well but i decided to do it with a small brush this time around to do that then i just blend on my brow bone as well just to make it pop out a bit then under my eye, I decided to give it a little switch and I used a purple um, eyeshadow from my Margaret Epo House of Tara palette. So this um eyeshadow, this eyeshadow is very pigmented as you can see. Look at how the color is popping out. Like I didn't even prime that part of my eyes and the color is popping out so much. So this is one um eyeshadow palette that I would recommend for anybody, any day, anytime. Margaret Epo from House of Tara. So for my lipstick, I'm using a purple lipstick or color 11 of Beyond Beauty lipstick. So basically, I should have outlined my lip before doing this. But as the person that I am, I really do not like outlining my lip. Like I like outlining my lip, but I didn't just feel like doing it on this day. So I just applied the lipstick. I just made sure that I trace my lip properly and I applied the lipstick. As you guys can, if you notice, I tried applying mascara in my lower lashes but i didn't show it in this video and it stained my eye so i'm just going to correct that after applying my lipstick then you guys will see like the end product of everything at the end of the day so guys when you're applying your lipstick please be as careful as possible thank you for staying with me if this is your first time here please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for amazing videos so my goal is just to make sure that uh, my makeup tutorials are beginner friendly for people who are just starting to wear makeup or who just want to try something new on their face I feel like my tutorials would help you with that So also if you already subscribed don't forget to like to comment and share tell your friends about my channel I'd really appreciate that. Please let's try to stay safe. Let's try to stay healthy Let's try to stay active because that's the only thing or that's the only way we can Enjoy this period. I know like this period is draining, but I just pray that this time passes by really soon, like as soon as possible. So guys, um, I leave you with this word that take care of yourself, take care of everything that you owe there to you and try to reach out to people. It's not compulsory though, but just try to reach out to a few friends like I haven't spoken to in a while 
I hope that my tutorial helped you anyways. So, I see you guys next time. Bye.